All right, guys, so I'm going to do a quick uh, recording here of a 2K24 video. We're going to be covering some of the... Well, they're not really new anymore, but the elite uh, action figure Persona cards. So I did one of these when they dropped the first one of Hulk Hogan. Um, and actually, technically, I have played as these on video and covered them in a live stream. But I figured I'd do, like, their own video for them like I did with Hogan. Um, and I'll show myself opening up the packs, too. So, give the reward. Oh, boy. Alright, so I've actually had these ready for a while, just never got around to filming this video. Alright, so we got two. So we got Elite Hulk Hogan. Now, this is different from the Ichiban Hulk Hogan. This is um, based off the Target Legend series, so you need to buy a Target figure to get this. And then this other one is the Elite The Rock. Now, this is based off the Monday Night Wars series Rock figure. And what's interesting about these now is instead of taking a picture of your receipt and sending it in like we've been doing, they're, the codes are actually in the box. So if you see a little sticker with a 2K24 logo on the front of the box, that means there is a code in there. But what's hilarious about this, well, I guess it's not really hilarious if you were a victim of this. Some people, like, opened their, their box and looked at their code, and there was just nothing printed there. <laughs> so some people got straight up scammed by 2K. And then this begs the question, like, are there people, like, going in the stores and opening the box and stealing the code and stuff like this? I don't know what's a better system. I'm not really sure why they switched to this, but I just figured uh, I'd mention that. So let's go ahead and uh, show the opening of these of what you get with these packs here. Alright, Elite Hulk Hogan. Now, I I believe in the last update, I was looking through the props files, and they added a Hulk Hogan guitar weapon. Like, I don't think that's in the game or anything yet, to my knowledge. I'm not really sure. But I thought maybe it had something to do with this, but we'll see. And then here is the Rock one. I just figured I'd do this as a separate video, even though I've already played as them on a live stream, just so it's like its own contained thing. And I've talked about a lot how I really like these, um, elite action figure Persona cards. They're my personal favorites. Like, some of the Persona cards here have been pretty disappointing, but I, I like the elite figures. Now, also, um, before recording this video, I took a look in the, the game's string files to get, like, a, um, a preview, maybe, of what Persona Elite figure cards might be coming. Now, just to be clear, just because they add the string file, it doesn't necessarily 100% confirm these are going to be added, but it could be the case. So, there is an Elite Bray Wyatt, Rhea Ripley, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods, and it says Ninja. So, I'm assuming that has to do with the TMNT uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures of them that are... I don't know if they're out yet or are they coming out or whatever, but I saw that in the string file. Ultimate Warrior, Roman Reigns, and Tiffany Stratton, which is pretty hilarious because I believe when I filmed that Hulk Hogan video, I talked about how um, I think Tiffany Stratton would be a solid choice for uh, an action figure card, and they might do it, so. Right, let's take a look at roster here. So I'm filming this portion on console uh, just because um, I wanted to open the pack and show you. And um, I'll probably switch over to PC for the gameplay. Alright, so here we go. Elite Hulk Hogan overall 94. Look at that glorious render, dude. <laughs> and then Elite The Rock, 96 overall. These renders are amazing, man. This collection of Elite figures, man, they're so good, man. They need to keep this going. It's a great uh, promotion. I'm sure they make money, too. Um, selling the figures. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to switch over to PC, do a little bit of gameplay. This is going to be a short video, but, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Alright, so here we are on PC. So I figure what I'm going to do, again, this video is going to be pretty short, is I'm going to do one match as each of them, like one-on-one -on -one matches, and then I'm probably going to do a match with, like, all the... Well, as of right now, all the Elite Persona cards that are in there, and, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a Battle Royal or something. Uh, let's start with Hogan, I guess. Alright, Elite Hulk Hogan has arrived. Who am I facing, though, is the question. I thought about doing, like, mirror matches against, like, you know, Hogan Hogan, but... Eh. You know what? I'm gonna face Ultimate Warrior. Again, Ultimate Warrior was on that list of uh, potential elite cards coming soon. Because he's in the string file, so we'll see. <laughs> Look at Hulkster, dude. That's such a good render. Action figure Hogan's not putting over a warrior, guys. 
You know what's weird? It's like whenever I boot up this game for the first time in a while, and my first match always takes forever to load. But then after that, it loads super fast. On PC specifically, I'm talking about. But that seems to always happen. I should have like done like a warm up match or something. But oh well. Welcome to WrestleMania. Hulk Hogan is here, and he's ready to hit all his signature poses. <laughs> and he can hold those poses for as long as he wants. The following contest. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you have to buy the Target figure, and I actually bought uh, the Hogan figure. I went there on release day, and the Target I went to had them in stock. So, I have this Hogan figure. I'm trying to get all the uh, figures that appear in-game in my collection. The only one I'm missing is Cody Rhodes. I'm trying not to talk over the commentary because it's unique for the action figures. Damn. <laughs> Invisible shirt, brother. Hulk Hogan helped to really start the wrestling figure craze. A true trailblazer in every sense, in the ring and on toy shows. None of those came to life. Well, I don't think the technology was quite there yet. All right, yeah, like I was saying, um, so I'm trying to get all the figures that appear in game. The only one I'm missing is Cody Rhodes. And I think it's because that was a ringside exclusive, like ringside collectibles exclusive, defining moments figure. And I should have ordered it when it came out, and I didn't, and now it's like super expensive on eBay and stuff. <laughs> That's the only one I'm missing. And of course, if they add more figures, I'll need to get those ones. And then in terms of the Monday Night War figure I bought for the Rock Code, um... I went to Walmart, actually multiple Walmarts in the span of one day. They never had a new Monday Night Wars figure, so I ended up paying a scalper for the RVD one. So actually, I am missing the Rock one as well. Um, so I need to try to find that. I, you know what's funny? Like I pre-ordered it on Walmart like months ago, but they keep delaying my order. And I've heard nothing but horror stories about pre-ordering figures from Walmart. Like I'm not even kidding. I saw someone post that they pre-ordered a figure from Walmart. And it got delayed multiple times, and they ended up getting sent a tube of toothpaste instead of the figure. I'm like, oh god, am I getting toothpaste in the mail or what? <laughs> so I expect Walmart to cancel my pre-order. I gotta get lucky and find the figure in an actual Walmart. I have heard that um, there's some new like displays that came out recently, so maybe I should go back to Walmart and check it out. This is what it all comes down to, Cole. Tonight we witness a new chapter in the mythology between two icons who hey, define a generation. If this doesn't get your heart racing, nothing will. It's kind of funny. I think I've talked about this multiple times, but um, I still honestly think He's Warrior beating Hogan right at WrestleMania was the wrong plan. call. I know people are going to think I'm crazy, like the classic, that doesn't right work for me, brother, but I really do think... At the time, Warrior was not ready for that spot. Mostly because of the way he conducted himself. I feel like... I know, like, he's passed away since then, and when he came back, he was, like, um... He seemed pretty changed, but... I don't know, just Warrior was always unprofessional, in my opinion. I know some people say they exaggerated on that self-destruction of the Warrior uh, DVD, but I think, in general... And generally speaking, he was very unprofessional. Like, has anyone heard that story? Like, I think Scott Hall talked about how Warrior, like, no-showed a kid that was, like, dying of cancer and appearance. Like, that is messed up, dude. I don't care how busy you are. You, you gotta, you gotta make time for that, man. So, obviously, rest in peace, Warrior. is kind of tragic how, like, um... He, he came back and then gave that speech and then died, like, a day or two later, which is kind of scary, but... Like, going back and looking at that footage, though, you could kind of tell something was off with him. Like, he seemed just exhausted. Yep, bear hug, brother! Alright, so this is on the max difficulty, so we're going to deal with fake resiliency. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose uh, these matches. I want to see the win animation with the figure. It's the same win animation as the regular guys, but I want to see the figure do them. He's got Hulkster here. Yeah, I, I really should have, uh... <laughs> I missed that. I was gonna say, I really should have used instant recovery there. 
Big kick out. That doesn't work for me, brother. There we go. Trading blows minigame. Computer missed the first strike? I don't think I've ever seen... He missed two in a row. Nah, maybe I have seen that in this Wow, that kid, that's Legend Computer. That was some trash, brother. Hulkster! I love how he has the sunglasses on during the match, too. It's legit. I'm surprised Warriors only has yellow body. No! <laughs> Oh no, that's the animation, the Hulk Hogan comeback. I thought he reversed for some reason. You! Hogan's teed off, brother! Oh! That's gotta be the best comeback in the game, man. It comes with a pin combo. Warrior kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Drops the Actually, did they change the moveset on this at all? Okay, I have Axe Bomber, which I don't know if regular Hogan has that. I could try right it, I guess. Got to use this resiliency wisely, though. What a he reversed it. <laughs> Rip all that momentum, brother. All right, so I think what we need to do is a quick crowd taunt here. And get some signature bar back. Yep. Oh, strong it brother. You can see the pain in the holster's eyes, the disbelief in Warrior's eyes. Neither man has been tested like this. Oh my God. It's no retreat, no surrender. You know what? I'm just gonna throw this out here, try to get voice that resiliency. He might reverse it though, because he's not stunned. Yeah, I was gonna say that was kind of unsafe to try that. It's time for Warrior to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Yeah, I think instant recovery is a good call right there. Okay, it was not a good call. <laughs> okay. I think he went for comeback there, but what is happening? <laughs> this is so goofy. We're botching all day. Oh no, Warrior's a reversal machine, dude. No! <laughs> I missed it. I think I. Well, I have resiliency, but I'm in a rough spot. I tried instant recovery. I tried. What? Is that not in the red? Go back and look at that footage. That was a scam. That was the biggest scam of all time. That was in the red, brother. That was in the red, dude. Oh, if I don't reverse this, it's over. He wants it one more time. No, dude. I missed the timing on it. Oh, no. Big! <laughs> I need to roll out or something. He's just going to do it again. There we go. I got the timing finally. Hogan reverse. No! All right, come here. This is going on long enough, brother. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Hogan! Blank drop. That could be it, but fake resiliency could, could come into play. Ref, come on. Hogan has done it. What a match, dude. Oh my god. That doesn't work for me, brother. I need the guitar prop, man. <laughs> they need to add that in. I swear I saw it in the prop list, so I don't think it's in game yet, but oh well. There we go. Holster man. I still got scammed in that one kick out. I don't care what the game says. He's too strong, brother. Let's go. Man, I forgot how long this win animation is. It's really good though. though. <laughs> Warriors just out there defeated. <laughs> Hulks are going wild right now. Big thumbs up. <laughs> Hogan shrug. Okay, is it safe to say this is the longest win animation in the game or what, man? Oh, 
There we go. Four-star match. All right, let's check out Rocky next. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the Rock figure next. So again, we're gonna do another one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, I'm trying to think what arena because we don't really have like a 97 or 98 raw arena I, I guess it doesn't really matter I think about going to Nitro, but eh. WrestleMania 13, why not? All right, so we'll check out Elite the Rock here. So again, I'm looking for these figures. Hopefully I can get lucky at Walmart <laughs> I think we're gonna face some um, Yeah, Farouk. So I was gonna say this rock is based off this is a rock attire or figure, whatever you wanna call it. It's based off of like when Rock became the new leader of the nation when he betrayed Farouk. Now, unfortunately, this figure, these elite figures don't have any entrance gear, so I would love to see that cheesy giant white text R shirt he has. One of the worst shirts in wrestling history. <laughs> if I recall, he didn't even wear it that long, but it's just so bad, dude. It's the rock. Impressive young athlete on the grandest stage. You now think about this: The Rock main evented WrestleMania 15 at the age of 26. Yeah, but from the moment he stepped foot in WWE, WrestleMania was The Rock's destiny. Third generation star who was born for WrestleMania. Permanent raised eyebrow. <laughs> Thank God they didn't try to give these like facial animations. That would have just ruined the the models and figures. Because obviously they're action figures, so they don't, you know, their eyes and stuff don't move. It would just be bad. Right he probably wished his rock action figures would come to life. <laughs> Wait, how'd you know that, Michael? Saxton, don't say another word. What? It just cut off my commentary. <laughs> Poor Grace got cut off. Men to ever step foot in the WWE. He's a Hall of Fame. And his opponent from Warner, Robin Schultz, playing in. The APA Farouk. All right, good enough. I don't think uh, one of the games had like a um, uh, Farouk, like Nation Farouk model in it. It might have been 2K22 if I remember. Defeated Vader to become WCW champion. Not just that, but multiple tag team title reigns alongside Bradshaw. And a small fortune in protection payments as well. You should pay them, Byron. Like, a lot of money. Oh, I'm kind of broke right now. You know, normally I wanted these, like, action figure videos to be one a piece. You know, like, one for Hogan, one for Rock. Um, but these kind of got released around the same time, so I figured I'd include them in one video. It's going to be interesting when we get to the end of this game's life cycle to see, like, which action figures we ended up with and do one giant match to all of them. The Rock isn't flying off store shelves. He's sending opponents flying in the ring. One of the boldest stars we've ever seen is here to dominate once again. Nothing about The Rock is subtle. It's he's The dynamic, Rock. He's fast talking. He's hard hitting. With the grab combo. How about that? The explosive people's elbow in action. And don't make the mistake of being fooled by his appearance. This rock is just as dangerous and energetic as the real deal. Too strong! And across the ring from him is a very experienced superstar with a <laughs> That was kind of cool. Farouk. Through his many incarnations over the years, the one thing that has never changed and with the pullback tech. Toughness, his ability to take the big power slam from Rocky. Keep coming at you. Come here. Yeah, Farouk's unquestionably one of the toughest guys in any room he walks into. Credit that not only to his imposing physical ability, but his unshakable determination. He's got him scouted. As electrifying as oh, he no. is, the Rock tends to prefer. I wonder if there's gonna be another close match like the Warrior match was. So your best bet is to turn his experience against him. Work fast, quicken the pace, and pray that he's not able to keep up. All right, I'm surprised I got him with that big DDT from Rocky. Rookie's instant recovery, and I grabbed him instantly. That man just scammed himself. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, good measure. 
You know, I thought I turned off camera shakes, but they're on. Oh, well. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Spine buster. The wrong spine buster. I forget. Does the action figure throw off the elbow pad? No, he does not. That's disappointing. A people's elbow. I mean, he's going to kick out, but still. Oh, I was not expecting to use instant recovery again. Wow. I was going to go for a crowd taunt and do the mini game to get a ton of momentum. I don't feel like the computer's wasting their uh, special bar this uh, match. What a shot! Oh, not quite yet. Hoist it up. Can I get my time to get my crowd on in? Let's see. Yeah, I did. No, and then he reversed the, the mini game. Oh no! I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready again. Yeah, I can't. I'm stunned. I can't instantly recover. I have resiliency if I need it. Let's see if I need it, though. Makes the cover. He breaks the Do not need it. That's good. Two. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Oh, he almost went for Dominator again. Did you see that? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> We're in for another close match, I guess. Dude, this is just this match is just goofy. I don't know what's going on. I have come back, but I don't think I really need it right now. Big arm drag. He's looking a little weary now. Sharpshooter. The Rock digging deep into the playbook. The sharpshooter. It's locked in. I'm not quite sure if this man. Oh my God! I almost had. Oh, oh, oh! Rocket. Self-preservation. No. I guess he doesn't have resiliency. I actually didn't really look what Farouk's overall was. Oh! Is that a running move or what was that? He was able to follow up with that. They try to pin me out there. What's going on here? Or does he have a dominator from the ground position or what's happening here? What is happening? <laughs> ah, my plastic back. Oh, dodge. Rock bottom. That might actually not uh, fake resiliency, probably. No, <laughs> the rock has done it. The new leader of the nation of domination. That was so goofy. This match did not end in Farouk's favor. All of Farouk's raw power couldn't turn the tide in his favor tonight. <laughs> That's a shot right there. Wow. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to end it there because, like I said, it's going to be a short video. And I know I said I was going to do, like, a match with all the figures, but I think that makes more sense to do more so towards the, more so towards the end of the game's life cycle. And we got more people. Um, yeah, and plus, I may have done it on stream already. I can't really remember. But there you go. Like I said, this is just a quick look at those figure cards because I kind of want the elite figures to have their own videos. So I'll definitely do more of these if those ones that are in the string file actually end up coming out. But uh, there you go. That was a quick look at Elite The Rock and Elite Hulk Hogan action figure persona cards. So see you next time.